Many of denial of service defences rely on reputation. So what do we mean by that? Well, here's a good example. What does your normal traffic look like? So for example, where does most of your audience come from? And what do they actually do when they're on your site? If your audience is typically very geographically constrained, perhaps they're from your local region, and they mostly perform the same set of common tasks on the website, then that is a pattern. And when you see deviations from that pattern, then that can be used to establish the reputation of that traffic. Sudden influxes of traffic that don't adhere to that normal pattern would immediately be treated as suspicious. The trick now is to establish how much of a deviation is required before you start to consider the traffic malicious. Now I'm talking in general terms here because conceptually this is quite true. We know what good traffic looks like. If it is different, then we're less confident it's going to be legitimate. The reputation goes down. But as much as we talk in general terms, many DDoS defense mechanisms rely heavily on reputation. And what you'll find is that they'll implement various layers of defense for when those reputation thresholds are exceeded. I'm going to show you specifically how Cloudflare does this later on in this module. But I'll give you an example of what might happen if that reputation threshold is exceeded. Let's ask ourselves the question, what does a normal login process look like? So for example, you might say, well normally, someone provides their username and password and gets it right first go. Occasionally, they'll get it right on the second go. Very occasionally, they'll take three goes. But it is extremely unusual to see someone take more than three goes and continue to get the password wrong. That behavior could result in a reduction of reputation. Now, that could be reputation for the account that they're trying to log into or reputation of the IP address they're coming from. But the defensive mechanism may then be to progressively add challenges. So show them a capture. You don't want to give everybody a capture the first time they try to log in. But if you get those credentials wrong three times in a row, the third time you try to log into that account, you're going to be shown a capture. What that means is that if someone's trying to mount a DOS attack against that login and it's continually coming from the same IP or even the same 100 IPs, any sort of pattern that can be recognized, then those requests get the capture. That doesn't stop the attack from coming in, but it stops the website from creating the hashes for the password. And creating the hashes for the password is a high overhead process. That's just one example. We could use this same methodology across all sorts of different patterns of behavior on the website and talk about different defenses that could be employed when that reputation drops. This is really just a pretty high level overview of what I mean by reputation. But it's important because we're going to use that word a few more times throughout this module. With that now understood, let's move on and talk specifically about network level defenses.